All right, science back again. You can see roof is complete all the way down. Ridge cap looks really nice from this from this far away. It was crooked, but it's straight now. So, oh, okay. So let me show you what I've been up to. Soffit works done from the other day. Excuse me, Chris. So now, right now, we got uh, Deacon Gorman. He's uh, doing some electrical work. He's installing a circuit breaker uh, for the room extension right now. So ran the cable over to this side. All the power's off right now because we're wiring it up. So got my wire running in, my home run cable. Now I'm over here. Pretty much did, uh, did some rough end. I said, oh, what the hell. I went ahead and terminated some circuit breakers. Um in here another one over there terminated the light switch over there and last but not least light switch here and another circuit uh, another receptacle there so anyway uh, next up will be installation and whatnot um, and light fixtures I left some cables hanging in order to uh, wire in some uh, light fixtures whether it's ceiling fans with lights or just lights in general so it's kind of where I'm at now Anyway, just want to make sure I gave an update. I'll leave you slow. Let's do it. Walk. Let's get it. We're just checking the outlets. Oh, look. It's correct. See the top? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Mm hmm. See? Correct. correct. How do y'all like y'all room so far? I like it. I like it a lot. I love it. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll leave. I'm going to get real comfortable. You gonna get real comfortable? Very comfortable. All right. Correct. These two brothers will be staying here. Correct. That's Chris. And the one that doesn't say anything is Christian. Hallelujah. Getting it in today. Fun day, fun day. Putting on these uh, wrap boards and and also putting up this tin along with the J channel. So it's coming out really well. Once we finish this extension on the outer exterior, we'll be able to focus and finish the shed, something we've never done. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, nothing really new inside with the exception of we actually have uh, the wiring completely done. <laughs> oh, I'm going here right now without trying to fall down. So we're actually using this inside for electricity right now. Listen to our messages and songs and things of that nature. But all our wiring's pretty much done, as I stated before. And uh, we got electricity rocking and rolling, switches. Everything's hot right now. The only thing we don't have in here is um, lighting. But I think we're gonna save that uh, for a later date, so. All right, so we at. We'll see how far we can get today. The idea is, the idea is to get, uh, to continue this uh, lean through covering out this far. So, uh, we just kind of left off of doing it because this wasn't even here. So now that it is here, uh, once this is completely done, uh, the outer exterior, even the inside, and these brothers get moved in, we'll be able to continue this in the spring because we're not going to uh, fill this thing with any concrete and dry up the way it needs to. Uh, until it warms back up. So that's just kind of where we're at. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed that little spill. We'll get back to it. Working on the vehicle. Working on this extension. Shalom. All right. So pretty much you can see the new tin. You can see how it's blending with the old tin. So probably what we're going to end up doing is pressure washing this side to make it, you know, look kind of more comparable. You can even see the soffit is a lot newer on this side than over there. Uh, we put some uh, J channel up here to make it look real nice. I think what we're going to end up doing is getting some more and running it down this way and uh, so it could look very nicely. So anyway, what we did was straightway came out here, Brother Bud, Scott, and all the, the gang, they came out here and they, this tin that you see here was actually butted up against the shed. We basically just peeled it off, laid it to the side, numbered them, and now today, uh, since we were done with it, it was all wrapped and we finished this side, we decided to start and put this whole side up. And, um, of course, we didn't make these ourselves, but what we did do is we cut in to the tin for this window. And so 
yeah so we're done today and so hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to finish up with the other side Today, I'm going to come over here and uh, I'm going to shut the power off and I need to run another cable from this receptacle down here up the rafter up here to put like a light bulb in the attic. And uh, I'll do that first and then after that is insulation time. I'm basically going to do this east wall, north wall, west wall. So anyway, I'm going to get it done. thought I'd let you guys know who we're doing. Shalom. Here's the opening to the extension. We're going to come in here and uh, when it's straightened up, cleaned up quite a bit. Now, this wall is going to be totally different from all the other walls because we're going to use something called rock wool. It's a quite bit more expensive than um, this R13 that you see we've done. So uh, we've pretty much done all the other three walls and... Uh, so you see like we did a little strip here, we did some blocking up there, and then uh, we have a light switch, receptacle, receptacle, another receptacle over there. I think we did quite well. Uh, it's not like it's our first time doing, well, not me and Deacon's first time doing insulation, so, you know, it is what it is. Bought some insulation today. Got to take this old insulation back. Put in these two... Uh, hangers here in between the joists so we can put up two ceiling fans that's going to be the attic light it's on right now install that so you ran some wire to it it's a pull string light so that's it it's going to be attic put the attic door right here and go from there so sheet rock wood cleaned up this shed quite a bit looking nice ceiling fans Gonna get done. So today uh, was install of uh, this rock wool. All right, can you lift that up real quick? Show y'all this. It's called rock wool. All right, pretty good stuff. Has some pretty good properties to it. We thought we'd give it a try. Uh, we put what is this R13 on all these walls, east, north, west wall. But on the south wall, this is butted up against an existing uh, structure. And uh, now that we've finished this, now it's time for us to take care of uh, up here at this peak. So we're gonna take some foam insulation, spread in the three corners here, and then we're gonna finish off this rock wool, and uh, and that'll be it for the insulation. Then uh, we'll have to move on to. Uh, doing some um, street rock. All right. All right, today is drywall day. And before I leave the straightway for the week, for the rest of the week, we, uh, this is how far we got, we're halfway. The drywall, <laughs> two full sheets here, half sheet, half sheet, full sheet in the middle. Uh, cut out for the light ceiling fan, cut out for the attic. This is how far we've gotten. And as we go, we tuck in the uh, the R30 insulation. I want to show you guys how I sandwich this door in. So we want the door to be insulated. We took two 
uh, 7 16 half inch sheeting and uh, we cut it out and then we put this foil insulation in between it sandwiched it in uh, the framing we did out what is this one by what two something like that one by three so I think it's one by three and so basically what we did is we screwed it in nailed it in all the way around for a border so that would rest the, the door right on top <clears throat> actually we need to go grab some sheathing now and throw up there so that way once we push this to the side we're able to actually uh, you know it's an attic so we can stack some stuff up there for the brother and others actually so anyway that's pretty much what we're about to do and then we'll continue with the rest of this i believe we can get done today Shalom. all right with the end of our first drywall day learned a lot made a lot of mistakes definitely a learning experience um we definitely know what and what not to do next time um but this was just for the roof. We did the attic. It's completely insulated up there. Uh, we got the both light fixtures, ceiling fan fixtures cut out. We got the attic door cut out. So very good. Um, and we ran this kerosene heater. Definitely heat this place up, wouldn't you say? So, oh yeah, felt like summer in here. It had to be definitely over 80 in here at one point in time. So um, yeah, so looking good. Um, look forward to getting back and do these walls after I get back from straightway. So, shalom and blessings. All right, back from straightway. Um, Deacon and Brother Desmond, from my understanding, they finished up the walls, all four walls. Um, uh, when I was here, last year, me and Deacon had hung uh, the ceiling and now there's Desmond and Deacon finished up with the walls. They put the first layer of mud on along with tape and uh, they covered the screws and that's pretty much where we're at right now. So we have two more layers of mud to slap on and then we can move on to the last phase which is uh, painting, hanging light fixtures, putting this carpet down. So this is the next thing that we're gonna do and uh, go from there. So far so good.